Welcome everyone. Hello creatives. I'm Solibanez, creative and designer. During COVID, I left my full-time job abroad, which is in Singapore, went back to Philippines, and founded Black Pen Creative Studio. And ever since, it has been so great. Today, let's talk about the reasons for starting your own design studio. The aha moment. Majority of us, at one point in time, has had their own moment about starting something. Maybe you don't like how your boss is running a creative team, and you have a better idea of how you might want to run it. Or maybe you just want your name to be acknowledged, win the awards, and be the amazing designer of the year. Or you just want to have more free time. These reasons are all okay. But the problem is, these are all about you or I. It's all about me, 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 me. If all your reasons point to what I just said, then you are probably not going to like it. Starting a design studio means a lot of sacrifices. You have way more responsibilities. You will also need to wear many hats, especially if you are just starting from scratch. You will also need to clock in more hours, sometimes crazy hours. There are times that you might need to suck up more than ever. And there is no one else to manage you other than yourself. In my experience, it's so much more tiring than being a 9 to 5 employee. Your purpose should be beyond self-interest. Your main purpose or starting something should be because you are bound to change things for the better. This approach helps you develop resilience, empathy, and vision, keeping your passion alive even through tough times. Number two is defining your why. Why start a design studio? Because let's be honest, starting a business is hard work. It takes time sacrifices and a lot of grit but having a clear purpose makes all the difference think about your purpose and the values that it should be built from should it be because you want to create a better environment where assholes are not tolerated or maybe you want to create designs that helps our world actually become a better place to live in or maybe you want to promote a more sustainable nature conscious design. Number three, how to find your own reason. Everyone is unique. My reason will probably be different from your reason. First, ask yourself why. Don't settle for the first answer. Give it a few thoughts. What do you want to change? What can you contribute? Take a moment to reflect. Maybe go on a vacation. To think about what it really means to you. Think about the impact. What will your studio bring to the table? How will it stand out in the sea of other design firms? Identify your core values because knowing what you value will shape your brand, your team culture, and the kind of clients you attract. Number four, looking ahead. Starting a design studio isn't for the fainted heart. But if you are clear on your reason, it's one of the most fulfilling things you'll ever do. My journey also has just begun, and so far it has been the biggest exciting decision I've ever made. And to be honest, sometimes you just really have to follow your gut feeling, be consistent, and just trust in the process. So creatives, that is it for today. I hope that this video was able to help your situation in some way. That is it for now. Creatives, see you next time.